So welcome back again to Kaohsiung, Taiwan. It's June 2022 and June is the rainy season. Got a taxi guy here, what's he doing? Yeah. Hi. As you can see, many stores are closed because of, uh, well, I think, the impact of COVID. Yeah, many stores are closed. Seven Eleven. So I'm going to switch to yeah, this one. Better black and white. What's he doing here? Interesting dude. Apart from his cigarette, he's cool. One thing I need to work on my fashion sense. I just go with like stuff that I've had for like two years. I, I, I can't remember the last time I bought some clothes. And I guess, you know, when you're out doing street photography, your appearance does, does matter. People make first impressions, don't they? Of, of how you look. Here an old Vespa. I'm gonna raise the exposure a little bit because it's dark at the front. Cool. She's giving out the instructions. <laughs> Reminds me on the way back, I want to do a few things today. There's a store near here that is going to be stocking the Woten Crafts camera bags and it, I don't know if you know the name Wotencraft yes yeah but Wotencraft bags are based in Taipei in Taiwan and they make some super bags and the store near here is going to be selling them soon so I want to go and have a look the store just down, it's down this street over here yeah but first, market and lunch. And this still reminds me, I need to get myself a new office chair. Because my office chair, well, it's not an office chair, it's just a metal thing. <laughs> and when you sit there for an hour or two, I'll tell you, my legs and my ass tell me about it afterwards. Yeah. People on the phone, people talking. <laughs> so this is the market street. Well, I'm going to take you guys inside of the, the market. Just take a shot of it. A lot of people closing down, I think, now. I always get here just as everything's closing. Always. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, let's go in the market. This market kind of sells a lot of different things. Anything from clothes to food. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And every time I come here, it seems to change what the stores sell. So at the moment, I'm just looking for interesting compositions. Interesting people or somebody doing something interesting. Yeah, there's a few shots here. Unfortunately, people have to ride scooters here, which is like a little bit sad, I think. They can't walk anywhere any anymore. Lots of shoes. Lots of shoes. I'm gonna shove it onto F2 now because I want, well, first of all, it's very dark in here. And secondly, you know, it's kind of shallow depth of field time. Yeah. Anybody who coughs and spits, the kind of thing, do they have the virus? So this part of the market is obviously more, would have been food. But a lot of it's closing down now. Because once again, today I wasn't organized and I wasn't up early enough. But tomorrow is gonna to be a different story. Yeah, tomorrow will be a different story. This one's a little bit overexposed, a bit underexposed there. There we go. So I'm using the settings I'm using, okay? It's, I'm using auto ISO with a minimum shutter speed of 125 because I want to uh, be sure that I've got enough to capture the speed. So F2, and then ISO also, with the minimum shutter speed of F125. Uh, yeah. Let me just see if I got that. I think it's okay. I typically like uh, to have um, bright, sunny, contrasty conditions, but don't have today, don't have. So the fruits, a lot of interesting fruits, figs, dragon eyes. Wow. I'm going to go back this way a bit. I think I'll go back this way a bit. And take some shots over here. See what's in there.
know, a lot of stuff they sell is like awful. <laughs> things that like in the UK, we, well, we don't knowingly eat, I think, like intestines. And they seem to make like a big thing over intestines here. Like, soup with cow's intestines. Sure, what that is. It looks cold. It looks cold, and someone's queuing up with some stuff here. That is either. It's chicken. It's chicken. In my last video, I kind of said that I prefer to use viewfinders. Well, since I've been doing since I've been doing a few of these POVs, I kind of like a combination of the two. Sometimes, because I walk around with the camera down by my side, you know, and the simple time it takes to move it up to your eye and then frame it, it you can lose a shot, and it's just too too formal. Sometimes it's nice to shoot a little bit looser. So you see something, just lift the camera up and shoot. Hats. See, like that. You don't need to worry about things too much. Don't need to control it too much. This one I think I'll frame with a viewfinder though. I want to get this right. There we go. Pineapple. Hey, hey. Yeah, so shooting with the uh, shooting with the 23 millimeter, it's a nice lens, but sometimes I wish I had a little bit more reach with it. You know, I don't have a 35 millimeter or 50 millimeter equivalent, so I, I'm thinking of getting one of those because I often feel as though I don't just quite have that that reach that I want.
and the uh, the 50 millimeter <coughs> excuse me which is roughly 80 millimeter full frame equipment that's sometimes a little bit too close so really I'm looking for like a nifty 50 as you could see Colors over there. I get anything interesting in this shadow in this puddle interesting reflection maybe This one's cool. Have a nice day. <clears throat> Guys, I'm going to leave it there, but thank you very much for watching if you made it all the way to the end and uh, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell it helps me because this channel really I'm, I'm it's it's new i'm just starting it also let me know in the comments what you think um in the future i want to make more videos and focus a bit more on on different aspects of the city so yeah just let me know what you think in the comments thanks guys see you next time